the, the, the changes that are happening in the Arctic, um, some areas are they're quite dramatic, uh, particularly in areas of uh, Canada and Russia, for example, where you have large areas of permafrost that are melting. There's areas where you're getting uh, large slumps that come into rivers and lakes, and those uh, change the nature of the, the lakes from some cases something that might look very clear and pristine to something that looks like a very muddy uh, reddish brown river with the, the river bottom where many of the organisms, the algae and the in, invertebrates that uh, are, provide the, the food sources for the fish where they're, they basically are smothered by sediments. So uh, that's, that's one area that's, that's quite dramatic and uh, it's at this point what we can only thing we can do is monitor where those locations are, identify them, and then perhaps identify areas that aren't um, changing. And then those areas of uh, where there's no change occurring should maybe be looked at as uh, areas where we have um, pres preserves and and uh, try to keep some semblance of the former Arctic biodiversity.